Yellow fever. I think if you stopped anybody on the street today and said, uh, what do you know about yellow fever? They would say, yellow what? Uh, and that's really a testament to, uh, to our great public health practices uh, that uh, very few people know about yellow fever. Yellow fever is a virus. In fact, it's an interesting virus because it's an RNA virus. It doesn't have DNA inside that protein box, it has RNA. It makes it more malleable to mutation. Where did it come from? Well, most human diseases come from animal sources. And in this case, one of our closest relatives carries yellow fever. It's found in primates, monkeys of a variety of types. It came from Africa. In Africa, yellow fever the, had been around for a long time. The native populations there had begun to develop a uh, uneasy cooperation with yellow fever in the sense that its fatality rate was fairly low uh, and their resistance was uh, better than normal. But when the slave trade began, uh, one of the things that came across the Atlantic Ocean, besides Africans, to be employed as uh, slave workers uh, here in the Americas was a mosquito and a population that carried the yellow fever virus. Since primates were part of the uh, ecology of Central and South America, it found an animal host there uh, where it could be harbored. From then on, yellow fever began to be a real problem here in the Americas. As Gene talked about in one of his segments, uh, yellow fever uh, had a profound influence on the expansion of the United States. It had an effect a little bit before that in the negotiation or development of political parties when it emptied out Philadelphia one summer when the mosquito population bloomed. But the thing I want to really emphasize with yellow fever for a few moments was the dogged pursuit of the transmission of yellow fever by the Yellow Fever Commission. And this was led by, uh, now, one of the few physicians whose name you will always recall, Walter Reed, uh, a member of the U.S. Army. Uh, Walter Reed was part of this Yellow Fever Commission, a physician. In fact, there were a group of physicians who uh, had an unusual hypothesis concerning its transmission. And that hypothesis was that its transmission was mediated by a mosquito. They had to test this hypothesis. There weren't a lot of volunteers who wanted to get yellow fever, and so several members of the commission volunteered. They were bit uh, by mosquitoes that had, that had had a blood meal on a person who was infected with yellow fever. In fact, one of the members of that commission uh, passed away a few days after that uh, from yellow fever itself. Even when they had this kind of evidence, uh, most people were still recalcitrant as far as believing that a mosquito could transmit a disease, particularly a disease of this magnitude that had plagued uh, humanity in the Americas for, uh, for more than a couple of hundred years. But they finally proved it and it became accepted. And once it became accepted, they realized that in order to control the transmission of yellow fever, they had to control exposure to mosquitoes say, well, that only makes sense, and it certainly does. But it also led to something else we'll talk about a little bit later. Yellow fever was inhibiting the development or the uh, construction of the Panama Canal. And once this connection was made by the Yellow Fever Commission, Walter Reed and his group, they knew that if they could prevent their workers from being exposed to mosquitoes, limit that exposure, through uh, a variety of uh, means, including mosquito netting and so forth, that they could keep their workforce there. And that, of course, uh, assisted them in completing the Panama Canal. Well, there are a lot of other things we can talk about with yellow fever. It's interesting with yellow fever, uh, since its reservoir was uh, potentially in Africans, that once slavery was ended in the North by 1820, you didn't see above the Mason-Dixon line yellow fever anymore. The reservoir was gone. The group of infected individuals did not continue to be replenished with this disease. Yellow fever. At least if someone stops you in the street now and asks you about yellow fever, you can tell them a thing or two.